right, hello guys. Um, I just wanted to film you a video of my updated setup for now. Um, <clears throat> I've been watching a lot of videos recently and um, particularly the ones by uh, Brandy Michelle Plants about her GTD setup in her hair 5. Um, I just bought this A5 Maldon from AdSpots on Filofaxi, so um, if you're seeing this, hello Nyam <laughs> and thank you. Um, so yeah, I've, I've tried to implement the GTD system in this planner, but it's a work in progress and it's kind of difficult for me. Uh, but yeah, here's my setup. Uh, with that said, I'm a teacher. I'm a trainee teacher, I teach part-time and then I'm working on a, on a master thesis so that uh, takes me a lot of time as well. <clears throat> so GTD seemed um, good for me because it helps you manage multiple projects at once and that's what I needed. So here's what um, I've done with it. So at the front I have um, this um, pocket double-sided pocket that Nyam gave me. Thank you so much. And uh, this is basically my inbox for uh, papers, um, notes, tickets, stuff like that. Um, and I also have um, the GTD system thing to help me figure out what I should do with stuff, as it says. And so my first divider is my inbox. Um, I basically write down anything um, uh, that comes to my mind, uh, whether it be during my weekly reviews or um, at any time in my days. If I have something to write down, it will end up here. Um, I try to process that as regularly as possible, but yeah. I don't feel like the inbox is actually um, a good a good thing to have in the planner because it makes me write things twice. I mean, if I get given a paper, I can just put it in here and when I do my weekly review, I will get my paper and then write on my action list or if it's a new project, I will write it down in my project section. So I don't think it's very useful right now. but. I don't know, maybe I've not encountered enough um, items that would need to be written in the inbox before becoming um, either an action or a project. I don't know. But yeah, that's what I have for now. Um, my next section is my actions. Next actions. <clears throat> so I've... Well, I've done just like Brandy Michelle Plans did in her video. I mean, I've done two columns and I've written my contexts. Um, actions I need to do on my computer, at home, anywhere, at work, errands, agendas, uh, read, review or grade in my case, and phone. And waiting for as well. But um, I've already updated these um, sheets because, um, well, I've... <laughs> Mm, a lot of tasks that need to be done on the computer or at home and not that much at work. Uh, well, that said, I'm currently on holiday, so I might need that section for all the copies I do every day. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I will have to see how it work, works out. So yeah, I have several of these already ready to go. A two-by uh, list from Wonderful. And then it goes into my projects. So yeah, my projects. Um, at the beginning I have a list of the projects that are ongoing and I just um, I just like stick random um, page flags on, on that on those so well, there is no particular order I just make them even out but that's all I do so uh, yeah I have my list of projects at the beginning and then well the bigger projects such as like my master thesis notes are um, with big tabs smaller projects like for example 
uh, this one oh this is difficult to explain in English but let me try anyway um, as I'm a teacher um, <laughs> I'm looking for a new school at the beginning of September after I finish my training year and so yeah I've been meeting with um, um, principals in, in, in different schools so yeah I've been taking notes on that and now actions that will ensue as well so yeah basically um, so yeah I have all my projects in here and sometimes I rewrite um, the tasks that need to get done for, a, for an, a project in particular but sometimes I it will just be notes just like this. this these are my lesson plans um, yeah, this is basically what I'm plan planning to do and and there's nothing else here, no tasks, nothing because, well, I don't know, it just ends up in my next actions um, more easily. I don't know why. I find it hard to not write <coughs> tasks on my daily pages. Um, I'm not used to that, but I might get used to it, I don't know. Uh, We'll see. Just like the, um, in the GT system, I have the reference and um, the finance uh, tabs. And um, yeah, I have printed these weekly reviews, a uh, weekly review sheets that came from um, the GT website. And I've also found a trigger list online, so that's what I use during my weekly reviews in order to complete things and put them in my inbox. But yeah, so as I said, I'm not sure about the inbox part and it's not easy for me right now to to refer to the action list because I tend to um, work uh, with projects more than anything. I mean, like today I woke up and I knew I had to work on my master thesis and that's it. I mean. There was nothing else on this list that that um that I had to do today apart from that. So that's what I did. And when I needed to do that, I turned to my project tab and I just looked at my notes, looked at my tasks, and that's how I worked. So yeah, I'm not sure this is going to work um, fine for me for now, but I will have to see. I will keep you updated on this. Anyway, um, I'll see you next time. Bye!